Hi, Domi and Lindsay. Hi. Hi. I love Turning Red. It's such a great job with the, the animation and, and the characters. Um, what was the inspiration for the storyline, Domi? Was it based on part of your childhood growing up in Toronto? Definitely. Um, I was Maylin Lee. I was that dorky, excitable uh, tween girl who was uh, struggling with being her mom's perfect little daughter and uh, a raging hormonal beast who was fighting with her every day. Um, and making this movie was kind of my my opportunity to kind of go back and, and unpack what was going on during that time, during puberty, not just from my point of view, but also from my mom's point of view, too, and kind of understand it better. For the purpose of the animation, did you study red pandas to, you know, capture their mannerisms and their personalities and movements on the screen? Yeah, I did. yeah, I, did. I think, I mean, there's, there's certainly, um, they're kind of these kind of um, furry, pudgy, kind of somewhat lazy, you know, yeah. especially during the day when we would go see them, they would be like kind of lying down. I'm like, which seems very teenagery, mm -hmm. frankly, or tween. Yeah. Um, but they also like startle really funny and they're very playful. So we kind of had lots of kind of drawing sessions at the zoo and, and yeah. lots of videos. And we tried to incorporate some of their, those like mannerisms, like in the movie, when May gets startled, she puts her hands up like a real yeah. red panda. It's very cute. It's like a baby. Yeah. Startled. Ah. Yeah. I love that you had Sky Dome in the film and not whatever new name it's called by, which I can never remember. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Was that a conscious decision? Oh yeah, for sure. It's it always sounded much cooler than the current name, uh, and it was the name that I knew it as growing up. Um, yeah, it's what yeah. it was. We kind of looked and made sure that we were grounding everything in that 2002, yeah, in 2002 era. Like, is that, you know, is that the jersey that, you know, Tyler's wearing? Is that the right jersey? I mean, everybody gets very kind of specific. nerdy and specific about all the details as we're grounding stuff in mm -hmm. those early 2000s. Mm -hmm. This has a lot of great messages in it, and they're presented in a really unique way. What message would you, like, if you had one, what one message would you like people to remember this movie by? I think it would be uh, embrace embrace your inner mess, embrace your inner wild beast, uh, embrace all of that messy emotion, all of that uh, stuff that you're kind of taught at a young age to get rid of or to tamp down. Just like yeah. like live with it, let it out, be messy. Yeah, don't hold back. And I think. Um also just a great kind of hopefully a message to people like you're not alone this is I know it feels like you're the only person in the world feeling all this way or going through all of this but you are not in fact every single generation for, the, for all of time has gone mm -hmm. through this and so um, it's also to parents too which is like remind remind them and myself you know what it is to be 13 and have some grace with your children as they are becoming these little beasts right in front of your eyes Speaking of parents, Domi, did you go to your mom and ask her for her input on the character Ming? <laughs> no. <laughs> I mean, I showed her some early designs of Ming and she was very pleased that the mother in this movie is more beautiful than the mother in, in Bao. Um, uh, but she hasn't seen the movie yet. I'm, I'm, I'm excited and nervous to, to show her tomorrow. Uh, but I think she's going to like she's it. She's going to love it. And she's also going to be played by Sandra Oh, so who yeah. who wouldn't be excited about that? And she'll have total vindication that all of her her parenting skills were yeah. right on point because yeah. obviously Look. you turned out okay. Yes. <laughs> now, were all those dumplings that we see through the movie were they uh, a nod to your Oscar-winning film Bow? Ah, uh, kind of, but it's it's more of a nod to just. Chinese culture and how uh, of food and family are so in like like integrated and also that dumplings are specifically like a food that a family kind of makes. Um, I mean, today I'm like after all this is done, I'm going to go back to my parents house and my mom's making dumplings because that's just what you do when you like see family and hang out. It's just it's like second nature, you know. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they look totally delicious. Even yeah, now. they do, don't they? I know. <laughs> I want to thank you both so much for chatting with me today. Thank, thank you. you. Have a good one. You too. Bye. 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 Thanks so much for watching. 
If you enjoyed the video, please hit the like button. And if you're new to the channel or you haven't subscribed yet, just click that photo to my left. Also tap the notification button to make sure you don't miss out on any new celebrity interviews. Make sure to tell me in the comments who your favorite celebs are and who you'd like to see me interview next. No promises, but I'll do my best.